Yo, what's up guys? In this quick tutorial, we will learn how to make these super cool looking line burst animation and after effects, which is super simple. So yeah, let's do this under three minutes, hopefully. So let's go into a new composition and let's make a shape layer, of course. And yeah, just for reference, let's turn on the proportional grid on this setting here. So we just can, yeah, place this at the center. So yeah, let's actually make a line a little bit right to the center. So don't start in here, just go to the right a bit and then hold shift to make a straight line and just go to the outside a bit. And now we can already deactivate the grid. And yeah, now we have this dead line and this isn't useful. So let's change a few things. So first of all, let's put in a higher value in the stroke setting. So I'll just go with something like 15. And let's also change the cap type to round cap. So we have, yeah, these round corners basically. And yeah, now let's animate this by pressing add again and let's add a trim paths effect. And yeah, let's go to the beginning of our animation. So make sure you're at frame zero basically and bring this down to zero, the end setting and put in a keyframe and then just go forward to like one and a half seconds and bring this to 100 again. So now we have this yeah, really slow animation. Let's change that by opening up the graph editor and clicking on end and basically double clicking it so we can select every keyframe in here. And then let's click on the easy E setting on the right. And yeah, let's bring the first keyframe a bit upwards. So yeah, this will have more like an explosion movement and not a slow movement. So we can see, yeah, this will go really fast at the beginning. But of course, as you can see, this doesn't vanish as we want. So let's also go to the beginning and put in a keyframe at start at 0% and then go yeah, a bit before the end and put in 100. So now we can see this line will just vanish. Afterwards, maybe let's put the keyframe a bit more to the right. So yeah, just like this. And yeah, now we can see we only have one line, but we want multiple of these. And to achieve this, we just can add a repeater effect to the shape layer. And if we open this up, we have to change a few settings, so let's open up the transform. And by default, there's 100 here in position, but we just want to rotate it and don't want to displace it on the position. So let's bring this down to zero, but let's change the rotation to 60 degrees. And yeah, we already see we have a few copies, but let's turn up the copies to six. So we get a full circle basically. And yeah, now we're already done. This is a bit big, so we can just select this shape layer and press S on the keyboard to scale it down. But if we do this, we have a yeah perfect looking line star animation. And of course, we can just duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl D and changing the size or the position or the yeah position on the timeline. And yeah, we can make multiple of these. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time.